Vladimir Putin faces further humiliation as new photos show the wreckage of two elite Russian helicopters worth around pounds 26 million shot down over Ukraine. The Kyiv Independent reports that the Ukrainian Air Force also shot down a Ka-52 alligator attack helicopter. According to Ukrainian telegram channel Operativny ZSU, the Ka-52 is valued at pounds million. According to the military blog www.militaridode.com, the Mi-82 is worth around 14.6 pound million. Russian helicopters have proven vulnerable to the relatively cheap Mampertable air defense missiles, or Mampets, used by the Ukrainian armed forces. Human carrying surface to air missile systems have been largely provided by NATO and have given Ukrainian soldiers an advantage over the overwhelmingly larger Russian Air Force. The Kyiv Independent tweeted a May 15 update from the Ukrainian Air Force. Strength 11 Russian air targets destroyed on May 15. The Ukrainian Air Force said that the anti-aircraft missiles shot down two cruise missiles, 30 RLAN-10 UAVs and one Ka-52 helicopter. Ukrainian Air Defense also shot down one Mi-28 helicopter and 40 RLAN-10 UAVs. According to the Ukrainian military, an estimated 165 Russian helicopters and 200 planes have been shot down over Ukraine since the start of the war, in addition to more than 400 unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs. Though casualties are mounting, the Russian military has an estimated 4,163 aircraft to use in the conflict. Russian forces were recently forced to withdraw from Kyiv and Northern, partly due to pressure from Ukrainian air defenses on the ground. Putin has now changed tactics and launched a full scale invasion of the east of the country. However, Russian forces made very little progress against the entrenched Ukrainian forces. Cross a river in the Donbas region. More than 70 Russian vehicles were reportedly destroyed, while as many as 1,000 soldiers may have been killed. Russia may have lost up to a third of its forces in Ukraine, according to a Defense Ministry intelligence assessment. So guys, with that we have come to an end of this edition of the news. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time. Bye.